All right, what's going on everyone? I hope you're having an amazing day. This video is going to be a video going over a couple products that I am personally super excited to get in. Uh, Tim was a little hesitant about it, but as soon as we got back from iCast, I put the uh, little test bottle that I got put it to work, caught a bunch of fish, caught a seven pounder on it, and uh, I am now sold on the product. So before we hop into that, guys, as always, head over to the Instagram and Facebook at Lake Pro Tackle. Follow us there, and you're gonna get updates on the story, on the post, about what we get in on a day-to-day -day basis, and you get to find out when we put stuff up on the website before uh, the YouTube channel and before you might even see it on the website. So um, go ahead, do that, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna be doing a big giveaway at 2000 subscribers. We just hit a thousand last month and we're on a roll. So guys, uh, the product that we're going to be talking about today is bait pop. And you know, bait pop is a super awesome attractant. Now that's not just um, a scent thing, but they also have a visual cue and it helps with forward facing sonar. So there's a bunch of different reasons why bait pop should be in your boat. Now we've got a bunch of different products and I'm going to break them down a little bit more, but I'm going to talk about kind of a little bit more about bait pop in general. You know, bait pop is going to be um, almost, almost like a pasty type of attractant. So if you're familiar with like liquid mayhem or um, some other ones like that, that isn't like JJ's or Spike It, this here is kind of like a gel uh, and it will stick to your baits a lot easier. Now it will come off after uh, probably 10, you know, if you're throwing it on like a, just a Texas rig, it's gonna stay on a lot longer than something like a moving bait, like a chatter bait or a crank bait. Um, but baits with little ridges in it can hold this in a lot better. Uh, and, you know, of course there is a scent aspect to it. You know, there's a bunch of different scents. Some, gar some are garlic, some are like anise, some are crawfish, some are bait fish. Uh, so there's, there's a bunch of different scents when it comes to them, but there's also a visual thing as well. So all these have like glitter in them, they're different colors, and they really stand out in the water. They're really UV reactive. So when the sun hits it underwater, they kind of glow, makes everything pop, hence the name bait pop. Now. What's also cool about this is if you're fishing with crappie baits or forward facing sonar for bass, it will make your bait pop out on the screen. So in a lot of different ways, this stuff here uh, really overall uh, just kind of enhances your fishing day and enhances the amount of bites and how long the fish can um, hold onto your bait and see your bait from afar. All right, so let's go over the variants that we have. So we've got two pro packs and these pro packs here come with six different bait pop tubes. Now all these are gonna be half an ounce, I believe. Uh, yeah, half an ounce bottles. So all in all here, you're getting three ounces of bait pop. Now the difference between these two here. So this one here is the Scott Martin pro pack and Scott Martin has the uh, variants, the chartreuse, the blue, the crawfish, gold, game fish and ice out. And we're gonna go over the exact colors and stuff. Now, Jacob Wheeler's Pro Pack is going to have the exact same ones, except for gold, he has pink in here. And I would assume that's probably for smallmouth and maybe during the uh, spawn times. So these Pro Packs here are gonna retail for, I think it's like $49 or something. So add on a pack of baits in there, you're gonna get free shipping for all orders over $50, Roger Reels and Tackle. Let's run through these colors here. I've got individual bottles that we actually sell if you don't wanna buy six of these. So let's go do that now. All right, so I've got these individual bottles here. So first off is going to be Ice Out. Now, Ice Out is a really cool one. It's gonna be like a silver flake. Um, and what's great about this is silver really represents bait fish all in all. Um, now it's gonna be kind of like a white silver. So if you're fishing like super clear water, this is gonna be a great one for you. If you're fishing a little tannic water, it might be a little difficult to see. And I would suggest some other ones, but let me smell this one here. All of them have different smells as well. Uh, like I said, some are garlicky, crawfishy, um, anise uh, is another one. But this one here, kind of a little garlic, a little game fish, I think. Uh, so ice out for your uh, information there, kind of smells like game fish and garlic. Next up, let's go ahead and check out this one here. So this one is blue. Now blue is gonna be great for uh, like tannic water, like kind of Texas water where you're gonna have a little green, little brown stain in the water as well. Let's go ahead and give it a smell. Okay, so this one, this one here is very garlicky um, compared to the last one. Uh, so, you know, when you're fishing, uh, especially like in the summertime, scent can be a big deal. I really like garlic scent. You know, I used to use Spike It a lot. Now I'm using JJ's and the garlic is very prevalent in the blue one. Next up is gold. Now this here is probably gonna be a little, little bit better uh, for darker water. Um, I highly recommend this if you've got golden shiners in your lake or something like that. So let's go ahead and pop this one open. 
give it a sniff. So this one here, a little more like anise flavor um, or scent on it. Um, I, that's really all I smelled there. There was a little game fish in there, a little anise, but it smelled really good. So uh, highly recommend the gold one. Next up is going to be game fish. Now I can assume uh, game fish kind of just smells like game fish, a little bit of anise. Uh, and there you go. It's going to be like a green color, like a dark, like rainforest green color. Uh, now this one here is going to be great for like all types of water. It's got some silver, a little gold, a little darker green and a little like regular green. So that one there for all types of water is going to be a great option. Next up, let's go to this crawfish one. So crawfish smells like crawfish, a um, little earthy flavor to it. Uh, and it's going to have a uh, reddish gold and silver in it. Uh, this one here kind of looks just like lipstick, honestly. So, um, for you guys out there that want to prank your girlfriend or wife, try to get her to put this on her lips. I think that'd be pretty funny. Uh, but here, uh, again, it's going to have um, that red, pink, and uh, gold, and kind of little, sh little um, silver in it. So crawfish there. Last up is going to be chartreuse. Now this one here, let me see what it smells like. OK, so this one has like a combination of like anise and garlic. Um, nothing really stood out to me. Uh, in this one, but it is a chartreuse color, I guess. So it's gonna have a little chartreuse. It's gonna have a little, 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 little bit of darker green. It looks like some silver in it. Um, but this one here is one of my favorites because what's cool about this one is this one really stands out in UV light. So if you've got a black light or something and you shine it on this, it's really, really gonna pop. And again, guys, all these bait pop uh, tubes and stuff, it's gonna help you with forward-facing sonar. It's gonna help you uh, with attracting the fish and it's definitely gonna help with the visual cues because of all the shiny stuff going on in the water as it flies past them. All right, guys, definitely check out all the bait pop products on our website, lakeprotackle.com. Let us know who your favorite angler is between these two guys here down in the comments section and show your support. Pick one of these up and definitely show us which one you prefer, Scott Martin or Jacob Wheeler. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time at Lake Pro Tackle.